Bin Laden's letter is, in part, a response to this. What are we calling you to, and what do we want from you? He asks, he goes on to express the kind of conservative moral panic and righteousness that is hard to believe TikTokers would even support. Okay. This mother never shuts up. Oh, my God. Oh, so Comrade Casey, is that the, I think that's the guy who made the video we just watched. Ethan Klein has never heard of historical analysis. Um, this is not a response to anything. Anytime a lefty utters some academic phrase, you can be like very assured that they are not academic. They've never studied anything in academia. They have never read a book on any of the subjects they're talking about. And all they're going to do is endlessly regurgitate buzzwords at you. That's why when a lefty gets challenged on some fact of the matter, all they have are lists of books for you to read that they've never opened in their entire life. Um, Frogan is also a dipshit. And that goes without saying. So Frogan quote tweets uh, Tanky Casey and says, this motherfucker never shuts up. Oh my God, making fun of Ethan Klein. Ethan quotes her and says, this is a Hassan mod telling me, a Jewish man, to shut the f*** up because I dare to say Osama bin Laden was bad and hated Jews. Please understand that this is why Leftovers ended and that her voice is not fringe within his community. Ooh. I believe this is the first time officially Ethan has outright stated that the show ended due to Hassan's community. I believe. Can you steel man Comrade Casey's tweet? Um, there is no steel man here. It's just wrong. It's like asking me to steel man one plus one equals three. Uh, like Osama bin Laden was motivated for other reasons as well, not just religious ones, to write about, uh, you know, why they attacked us on 9-11 and their motivations were attacking us on 9-11. Some of it was related to U.S. foreign policy. But, um, I mean... Some of, you know, Hitler's motivations were also because he felt like, you know, Europe had stabbed Germany in the back and the Jews at the stab of the back. But I mean, it's so like you could steal man everybody. Let me also say I give zero f**ks about Frogan's crocodile tears. She has inserted herself in the middle of my convos many times and cries when I respond to her based and true. She's an official representative of Sans community and the pressure should be on her. True to behave better and not make his entire community look bad. I also blame Hassan for continually hand-waving her horrific behavior to the point that it's essentially an endorsement, also true and based, and Osama bin Laden in this life and the next. Ultra true, ultra based, ultra absolutely, hell the fuck. Yes. Tankies falling over themselves to defend Osama bin Laden should tell you all you need to know about their movement. True. Four hours ago, Denims talks about Ethan's Instagram story and Frogan's tweet. So Denim's position is so always going to be whatever is the most defensive of Hassan. She will never attack Hassan ever. Um, she literally just has uh, Hassan and being a girl that covers tanky politics as the only things that make her stream worth watching. So she should be in full defense mode um, to attack Ethan as harshly as possible and to defend Frogan as much as possible, making any excuse necessary to absolve her of any bad behavior. Let's find out, though. Maybe I'm wrong. So I saw this tweet on my timeline. <laughs> she mogged him a little bit. I won't lie. She did mog him a little. <laughs> also, I don't believe these laughs are real. I never, I, I don't believe these people are actually laughing anymore. I feel like it's all fake bull. She did mog him a little. <laughs> but Ethan Klein, I guess on his Instagram story, he screenshotted a Twitter post that said, do Americans know, actually know why Bin Laden did all that? Or do they actually just believe that he hated that they can vote or something? And Ethan Klein posted on his Instagram story saying he did quite literally hate Americans because they could vote and had freedoms. He specifically states in his writings the reasons homosexuality, lack of Sharia law, drug use, lending of money, letting Jews Sharia law, okay. run the country. Please, re please read his writings before regurgitating tanky talking points and running defense for a mass murdering, homophobic, anti-Semitic piece of shit. <laughs> Bin Laden. <laughs> wow, so progressive. <laughs> You're so brave, Ethan. You're so brave. Okay. <laughs> and anyone trying to rewrite history. I will explain this very simply before we go any further on the topic. She's about to say the dumbest thing. Anytime a lefty tells you they're about to explain something, they're about to give you the most ahistorical, anti-intellectual, absolute dog take you've ever heard in your entire life. Okay? Get ready. The reason people say and tweet out shit like do americans actually know why bin laden did all that or do they actually believe that he just hated that americans can vote or something the reason people bring that up is because it is very relevant to a lot of other conflicts 
especially currently, things occurring in Gaza and things occurring in Iran. Namely, the concept of blowback. You can only destabilize a region so much before it falls apart, a militant party rises to power, and guess what? The militant party doesn't have any policies. They are a militant party. And you know what they're going to do? <laughs> I, I don't. I have no idea what any of what she's saying is. So, so, first of all, we're, these a lot of these people came from Saudi Arabia. They were exiled from Saudi Arabia. Part of what he was upset about was literally Osama bin Laden was upset that we just even had military bases in Saudi Arabia. A lot of it was based off of he was literally a Sunni fundamentalist. He did believe in Islamic fundamentalism. Um, I, I don't think Al Qaeda was ever a political party. Uh, I don't believe so. But. You can only destabilize a region. And I don't know why, even if they were a party, or even, I don't know why she's saying militants can't have policies or beliefs or ideas. I... So much before it falls apart, a militant party rises to power. And guess what? The militant party doesn't have any policies. They are a militant party. And you know what they're going to do? <laughs> they're going to fight back. Okay. That's why people talk about bin Laden. Not to say, oh my God, bin Laden was such a based king. She's never read the letter. She doesn't know anything about Al-Qaeda. She doesn't know anything about bin Laden. She doesn't know anything about the Middle East. She really doesn't know anything about anything. She's a Hassan uh, who just goes on stream for two hours before Hassan comes online and then shuts the stream off as soon as Hassan comes online because her and Mike literally are two sides of the same coin, um, which is just to be a Hassan waiting room. But please read his writing, said the man who has almost certainly not read the writings. I thought this was my separate for a minute and they were making fun of Denims. Um, but they're not. They're making fun of uh, Ethan because this is the H3 Snark subreddit that hates Ethan. But nice. Can you read my dono? What? Um, what do you think of the, uh, of the foreign policy blowback thing about 9-11 and American foreign policy? It seems like I, you're asking me a massive foreign policy question. What do you mean? What do I think about blowback? It seems people are retroactively applying Iraq to the 90s when was the last American war in the Middle East pre-9-11, the Gulf War. Uh, I'm pretty sure Osama bin Laden in his letter states that he's upset about, I think it's air bases in Saudi Arabia. I think he's upset about the uh, Palestinian treatment in Israel. I mean, what do you mean? Like, obviously, there's some degree of blowback, but we're also like the world hegemonic power. Of course, there's going to be blowback, good and bad, in every single thing we do. Of course, that's always the case. Blo just saying blowback in and of itself is not an argument for or against anything, right? Like, imagine we go on some huge crusade to get rid of all the MS-13 gangs in the United States. There might be blowback there, and they might kill somebody in Mexico or on the southern border because they're mad. Like, blowback is just not an answer. Anytime somebody says blowback, as then that's it. It's just retarded. This may be cringe so hard. Why does this man have no shame? He's so out of his depth and still admits that ChatGPT is what makes uh, his extensive research in front of folks who actually read. So these guys have absolutely no historical or i'm not even saying historical it's a it it takes you like five minutes to read bin laden's thing but okay it's also funny because like maybe controversial opinion no one needs to read bin laden it's not necessary there are plenty of worthwhile perspectives to read <laughs> dorada isn't this like some postmodern philosopher duder does he do a lot of i don't even know Hold on. i feel like i've just i've heard that name brought up is this a guy that you would read for history I feel like this is a lot of philosophy. Listen, anybody that writes anything with the word phenomenology in it or phenomenalism, not good. Not good. I, don't, I also don't know how to pronounce it. Derrida? Derrida? Is a fairly easy and accessible place to start that do not require reading a primary source that will inevitably radicalize people. Sure, not many, but even one person is too many. Why would this be your go-to recommendation? I'd argue Ethan is doing more harm than the people simply arguing that terrorism isn't something that exists in a hatred vacuum. If it's anti-Semitic screed... Why is he telling people he's accusing of anti-Semitism to read it? it <laughs> what? Do they think that if you read something, you instantaneously become radicalized by it? What? For real, I literally took a class that covered bin Laden and terrorism and its causes in college, ironically, in spring of 2000. I'm ancient. It's not secret information. It was all understood before 9-11, and it's so easy to go, maybe I don't know everything, and look the hell up. Okay. Okay. This subreddit is super cringe. This is like a tanky adjacent. All of these like weird anti-fan YouTube subreddits became like super tanky um, taken over. Um, the YouTube drama subreddit is the same. It's not even progressives. It's actual tankies. It's pretty gross.